Welcome to Sunshine MLS Plus. This short tutorial will guide you through the search functionality of Sunshine MLS Plus. To start, we're going to log into Sunshine MLS Plus. And once we're on the welcome page, we're going to click search. And for purposes of this tutorial, we're going to search the residential property class, but you can search any one of our six property classes along with public records and cross property. So we're going to click on residential and we'll be on the residential search screen with all of the default search fields. So we know we're looking for a property in Naples. We want only active properties. We want a single family home. We want something of a newer build. So let's say 2005 and greater. So what you'll notice here is that your search criteria as you enter it is summarized on the right along with a count of listings that match your current search criteria. So at the moment we have 585 listings. We also know that we want a property inside of a gated community. So we know that community type is not part of our default fields, so we're going to need to add it as a custom search field. We're going to click on the Add New Custom Search field, and we're going to type the search field's name, in this case community type. As we start typing, you'll see that the system tries to guess what field you're trying to search on, and it'll give you options. So in this case, it gave you community type, so we're going to select community type because that's what we'd like to search on. We're going to add that field, and we're going to say we'd like the gated properties in a gated community. We'll see the gated community type got added to our search criteria, and we also see that the count was changed to reflect 340 matching properties. At this point, you can add additional search criteria, or you can save this particular search to retrieve it later, or you can click search and take a look at 340 results that match your criteria. So we're just going to click on search and once the search executes the column report will load and it's a familiar column report that will allow you to look at listings in a column report format, also resort listings as well as go to additional pages and take a look at additional listings that match your results. From here you can also email and print and that functionality is covered in another tutorial. You can also take a look at the details of a particular property. You can take a look at all of the details for a particular property just by expanding the different sections of the report. And as you expand different sections, they'll remain expanded once you navigate to a different listing. It'll just keep those sections that you're interested in expanded. You can also take a look at different types of reports. So for example, you can choose the customer financial report and it'll load the customer financial report and the sections applicable to that report. Again from here you can email and print. You can also navigate through properties by clicking on the listing navigation arrow and going to the next property in the list. You can take a look at photos for a particular property by going to the photos tab. In this case this particular listing has two photos so you can navigate to the next photo by clicking on the thumbnail. You can also go to another listing by clicking here on the left or using the arrows right here. This particular listing has eight photos of the up to 24 that Sunshine MLS Plus allows. You can navigate through the photos by clicking on the thumbnails and if you would like to see a next set of four you just click the navigation arrow in the photos box and you can take a look at the next four photos in the list. If you'd like to see on a map where a particular property is located, you can click the map tab and what it will do is it will highlight the property that you have selected along with an indication of all of the other properties that match your search criteria. You can go to the next property by clicking on it on the left or navigating on to it on the right using the listing arrows. This concludes our tutorial for the search. Additional tutorials will cover printing, emailing, sorting, and custom columns.